So, today is going to be a combo video of week 6 and 7 because I've been working the last 7 days straight. So I've had no breaks and I don't want to get up early to place an order on the stock market. Just didn't want to. So, with this one, I did two weeks worth of stock buying. Makes sense, right? 18 shares of Wendy's and two shares of Coca-Cola, keeping it together like that. Just going to keep on going with that. So now I'm at 86 shares of, uh, 87 shares of Wendy's and 52 of Coca-Cola. So next week's going to be my last full buying week. To reach my goal and then the week after that I'll just kind of wrap it up and hit that 100 shares of Wendy's as well as uh, 55 shares of Coca-Cola like I want it. And this kind of brings up the um, bigger question here. Is it worth it? Is all this even worth it? Does it even fucking matter? And I'm not sure. Because say I do increase these dividends by about 300 bucks each year going forward. In 30 years, that's $9,000. Uh, nice. Nice to have an extra $9,000. Um, but I'm kind of giving up a lot to be able to do that. Is it worth it? I don't know. Um, cause who knows? Chances are, could end up being way, way more than that. Um, this is just kind of what I've been experiencing over the past year, but the past year hasn't been great for stocks. So who knows? Maybe I end up with 10, 11, $12,000 a year, maybe $15,000 a year that we're talking 30 years from now of continuing, continuing, continuing to put money in the stock market almost each and every week. Who knows? I don't know. I'll just have to wait and fucking see, I guess. Um, but it's worth it to me to know what would have happened if I did it. I don't want to be there 10, 20, 30 years down the road just thinking like, oh man, I wish I would have done that. Man, that wouldn't have even been that big of a deal if I would have just done this little bit here and there. It might have been a little annoying, but the fact that I didn't try as hard as I could have, that sucks. So I want to avoid that in a lot of areas of life in general. I want to try things and see what happens. Even if I fail, I'd rather have tried and failed than have not tried and just have to live with the question of, hey, would I have, would, what would have happened? Would I have failed? Would I have failed completely? Would I have had a little bit of success? Oh well, I was too scared. Didn't do it. <sighs> Brings me up to my next point. YouTube. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube creators of when they, some of them have 100,000 subs and they show conveniently they're the ones who are making just enough to show it to not feel super uncomfortable. And they're like, man, I made this video and I made $120 off of it. That sucks. These are the videos I want to make. But I made this video that I don't really care too much about. And it made $700. So, man, how am I going to make it? And I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up. You're... You can make $700 a week talking to a fucking camera. Hell, you can make the stuff you want and make about $150 a week. 
That's a day of work for most people. Most people don't even make that much in one eight-hour shift, like most Americans, according to the Census Bureau. Um, the median income, so 50% people make less, 50% people make more. In most states, it's like $31,000. I think the U.S. average or something like that, if you combine them all, it's something like thirty-six. Thousand thirty-five thousand, fifty percent of people are making less than that, and that's what maybe about six hundred a week before taxes. And this guy can make a seven hundred dollar video each week, and that's it. He's like, man, I spent psh, hours on that video. Or I can spend a couple hours on my fun video and make more than most people make in a day. Fuck you. And that's not even somebody with a million subs. That was like a hundred thousand. The other people who have millions of subs who are like, man, I can't make the videos I want to make anymore. Support me on Patreon. Just dollar a day, dollar a month, I mean. Screw you, dude. Screw you. Most people are busting their ass on a 40-hour-a-week job, or wanting 40 hours a week if they can get it. And here you are. You're just making money, talking in front of a camera, having fun. It just pisses me off to no end that people can do that and think it's it's okay, because they live in such an affluent neighborhood that, oh my god, you know, whatever, 40k a year talking on a camera, that's not that much money, with no real labor, and I have the rest of my time, I can cook my own meals, I can do my own grocery shopping, and I'm still not even spending 40 hours a week doing labor, I can do all this stuff. It, it just chaps my ass, I guess.